All right, hello everyone. It's Team Rocket Plays here with another episode on our Let's Play Minecraft Together series on my channel. All right, guys. So if you guys are noticing, there's something different. I decided just to change the resource pack. I think this is gonna be a little bit more fitting. Um, I kind of lost like that motivation to keep going, and I feel like this might just like kind of push me a little bit more um and yeah so i think i'm just gonna keep this for a little bit hopefully um it'll stick i always like the original resource pack but after a while it's just i don't know guys i kind of lose motivation so hopefully this will uh get me back into it but yeah so on the last episode hopefully it doesn't bother you guys by the way um and what is this this is a shulker box I hear I hear mobs. I think we have like mobs down there. Um, on the last episode, we did this, guys. We did our forge, uh, which overall I really like how it came out, especially in this resource pack. I really like the buildings um, in general, just like the actual stone, and yeah, just the the effect that it kind of gives you. So yeah, I showed this around in the last episode. We built the building, and then I did the interior off camera, uh, which overall I think it looks pretty cool. But for this episode, guys, uh, earlier today I was talking. Are they on? To I can't really pronounce the name. Uh, talking, uh, talking nana naj, uh, talking nana naj, and uh, glor fenda Um, and they came and they toured my base. They just went around and I just showed them around. Um, which was pretty cool. I don't think I've ever given a tour uh, in my base right here, so uh, that was pretty cool. I think the only one was Metamorphic Mike. Um, I actually toured my actual nether base, but not this one. And um, I was kind of embarrassed, guys, because I was showing them around. I don't have that much going on. But, and then they asked me, he's like, um, so we're doing something where we're touring this and that, you know what I mean? I can't remember the exact details that they used and that they have a book in their base. And then they told me, uh, is there like any bases that you recommend that we go check? And I told them, like, throughout, like, I guess in my, ooh, what happened? Why am I sitting down? What? What's this? What's this? No, what? Um, yeah, so I'm just chilling right here on top of my... My roof, just sitting down. What's going on? Are these stairs? Yeah, these are stairs. No way, we can sit on stairs. Imagine this is one of the things they added to the pack, um, the Let's Play uh, Together pack. Yeah, it is, I guess we can sit in chairs now. So whenever I make a chair, uh, oh, I can sit down, no way. That's really cool. I guess they made it kind of like into a minecart so you can sit on it. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool, guys. <laughs> I was not expecting that. I don't know why I pressed a right click and that happened. Uh, but anyways, guys, like I was saying, because it's really interesting. So they have a book going on where they have information. And uh, like I was saying, uh, they asked me a base that I, if, I, if I knew like a really good one. And I told them because off camera, I, I just went exploring. Um, and I went to go check out Metamorphix Mice ba uh, base and then I just explored a little bit and then I found that some, uh, a couple of people uh, made a vase really close to his but it was just amazing guys like it was just crazy how much detail and uh, how much stuff they had done like really big buildings like compared to mine mine is like nothing compared to them so after I found and then uh, I told them about it and they're like hey is it like kind of like a a Rome style a uh, building and I was like yeah it is so they were like oh well nice to meet you we're the owners of it I was like what yeah he, he's like uh, we're the one that made it and I was like no way I was so embarrassed guys I was so embarrassed like them coming to tour my base like that ugly base you know for me I'm an amateur guys I'm not that good I'm not good like this is the first time I'm actually doing big buildings and going a little bit more into detail usually mines are just simple and stuff like that so for them to like come to mine and and just look at it like after knowing like if I would have known that they made it I, w I probably would have said uh, no that they couldn't uh, come see it because 
I'm embarrassed. Uh, but they did mention something that they're working on where uh, they have a book, like a story. And um, I kind of want to make my way over there, but I need some rockets. So uh, let me go over there and I'll get a little bit more into detail. All right, guys. So I'm at the Nether Central and I think this is where they live or where the base is. Uh, yeah, it's right here. All right, let's check it out, guys. I'm excited. Um, I haven't been here in a minute, so I'm pretty sure they got a lot going on. Uh, but they did mention a game that they have at their base since it's really big. Um, all right. Uh, why does this look so cool? It looks like 3D and everything. All right, so I, it seems like we're in a little room, and I guess we could go up here. It wasn't like this last time that I came, so... Um, like I said, it's probably going to be a lot of brand new. Oh, look at this tree. A lot of brand new stuff since then. Um, and it says, welcome to Oizime. And it's a talk and glorf. Yeah, a talk and something. I can't remember the name. It's really hard. Oh, okay. They have a, a map down here. So see, see they got so much. A lighthouse, a village, Trojan horse. Uh, oh, I haven't seen the Trojan horse. <laughs> you scared me you scared me guys i was not expecting that i thought it was like like a creeper or something <laughs> um yeah so it's it's trent uh and yeah so they're like i was saying um i think they have a horse a trojan horse i don't know if you guys remember from like the roman times where to get into the castle uh they made an offering um of like a giant wooden horse and they were hiding inside of it and then, um, yeah, when when they were sleeping, they came out of it um, and basically took over the castle or started attacking it. They have a coliseum. Oh, okay, so this is where we are. We're at the north axis. Oh, what's this? I remember going to this part right here to the coliseum. Um, a warehouse, aviary, temple, library. I think the library and the treasury I've seen. And uh, doctors... Uh, Dr. Lambies also saw a spaceship. I think it's this right here. I remember seeing that spaceship um, And then to Mike so I came this way because I went to Mike's uh, base and then I came this way So I didn't see the Trojan anything they had I had it back then um, All right guys, so that's pretty cool. So welcome to Ozai. So let's read it guys. So it seems like it's a book and quill um, uh, It seems like there's nothing on it, but I guess we could take it I wonder, I thought they said they had a book where it had like rules and stuff like that. Um, Alright, so I guess we could do a little bit of exploring. And I need to look for the for the book. Alright, let me ask uh, Trent just in case he does know. Oh, look, that's really cool. No way. And it's like a corner one too. It's not just like a, a normal one. It's like in the corner facing into the odd direction. That's really cool. All right, guys. So let me ask around where I can find the book. And I'll be right back. All right, guys. So I got some help from Trent. He said that the book is actually in the lofts. And he kind of gave me an idea of the game. So the only thing that I saw, <laughs> like, that was that had the name was uh, this right here. So we need to go outside. And I think it's this way right here. So let's go check it out, guys. Uh, we'll take the route over here. I guess it goes a little bit to the left. It's a little nice, nice little path. Um, all right. So what does he say? He says, I'll give you a hint. There are 22 heads total. I found only 11. Oh, nice. So it, it seems like they might be a little bit difficult to find. I have no clue where I'm at. So I guess this is the lofts. What is this though? A trans iron shop uh january nasa rockets oh wow so i guess this is the new area where yeah i guess this is like the new mall i guess that's really cool i was not aware of this i'm pretty new to this it's a little bit embarrassing all right so woolly journals back of store for current and older volumes current on sale volume four all right so please only claim a shop if you have plans to keep a stock uh sharing of shops is enough please try to make your floor spawn proof or pick money all right so shop request so i guess it's people um it's just basically the rules for a shop 
and um, Alzheim import and export ask if we carry what you need visit the on-site tourist available upon request all right so I just want to say thank you to uh, Trent really quick all right so I just told them that I wasn't aware of the area and um, yeah just thanking them and I guess I have a lot to do guys there's a lot here no wonder nobody's coming to my shop uh, I need to figure out a way how to get there other than coming to their face a uh, base first or I mean I guess it's easier to just come here and that's poor llama right there all right guys so I guess this is their shop right here and I guess we could come in and this this little dude right here it's really cute um it reminds me of like a, a game I forgot what game it is um all right so what do they have so it says concrete powder dice as desired so one diamond per 64 powder um, oh, and they're selling three diamonds per block spro uh, shulker. That's not bad. So if I ever need anything, I could just come here. That's pretty cool. Um, and same thing over here. Redstone. I guess just driver's redstone. Uh, unique offerings from recent adventures. All right, let's check it out, guys. This is interesting right here. So the nine diamond blocks, star kits, beacon kit. So I guess it's just a beacon um, and two diamonds, rare puffer fish and then three diamond blocks for a trident um i already have most of these items so i guess uh where's the book at so read me um uh, follow the adventures of the greatest merchant scout as he travels around the sumoverse in search of the latest tales of heroism and the best items to sell we are on volume four released on 112 all right guys so let me check it out really quick and what's this when the light is on throw a diamond onto the slab to get Wooly's wondering um i think i need to read the book just to get a better idea so uh, let's check it out guys all right so it says Wooly's journals every week Wooly releases 20 copies of his journal week of release you can get the journal for one diamond uh if the book's if the books do not sell out before the next volume is released, any remain copies are put in the gold chibi and called remnants. Remnants sell for two diamonds each. If remnants gone, you can either wait for the second edition, which come out at three diamonds, or you may request a reprint of any released volume using the paper in the gold chibi. Reprints are one diamond block. Ooh. The sign at the Chibi Hut will tell you what volume we are on. Please support Woolies College Fund. Um, all right, so it seems like they ran out of copies. Um, oh, no, no, no. I guess there's uh, order volumes inside of Chibi. Uh, two diamonds, three diamonds, second editions. So they got volume one, volume three, and volume two. All right, so we could get them, guys. All right, that's pretty cool. All right, so let's buy a couple. Is there? Yeah, there's some sandwiches right here, and I guess I'll just get a copy. I'm not sure how many I'm gonna need. Uh, not a copy, but a few of these. Uh, and all right, so three diamonds, uh, second editions, um, and then one diamond block. So just make sure that it's diamonds. Really cool, guys. It's a good uh, story behind this. So uh, let me get a few of them, and I'll be right back. All right, guys. So I purchased volume one, two three and four so we're on volume four as of now so we got three six nine twelve that which is making sure that it's all right all right so let me put these back now all right guys so now uh, when light is on throw diamonds diamond onto slab to get woolies wondering i'm still not sure what this is it's not on though so i don't think we can do anything all right guys so let's proceed and uh let's read the story all right guys so we're back here and look at that they have like a bunch of small details like that boat that's really cool um and it's two people guys like i'm wondering if they have any videos on this because that would be amazing because they got so much done like look at all, all of that and i need to hurry up um oh is this uh, i thought that was a, a slight man um let's continue though i wonder what this is seems like there's something else over here let's go over here guys seems like it's a house and uh we kind of need to get away from all this all the mobs that might come i don't want like no creepers blowing up right here um so let me try to get away and then we can start reading the books um we're gonna start off with volume one just making sure there's nobody around it doesn't really have any um things saying where we are at but look at this how big is this this is crazy um 
and it's like kind of like original unique the way that it is like the shape of the building um it's really cool um it's in there's like just an enchantment table here and i think that's it it's another door here um let's see where this takes us all right so it takes us up here in the balcony what's down there imagine that's like another uh area oh this is really cool i guess this is an enchantment table Look at these, they have so much stuff here. It's like small details and then they're using these blocks. I wonder where that's from. Um, uh, guys, I need to catch up on all the stuff that's going on in the server because, yeah, this is crazy. Um, and I guess they somebody slept, so let's just uh, kind of read the book. All right, so let's go and start off with Volume 1. All right, so Volume 1, October 20, 2018. The seas are calm despite the nip in the air. We are packed bundled and heading for new lands i wonder if the inhabitants of this new server will be fair in trade or rich in diamonds i read that these strange um, individuals have been living in the depths of the nether for nearly a year true uh, we're actually there for a long time i was there probably like five months i'll begin a new outpost near the general spawn and further outpost to establish my concrete business i've begun crafting and polishing wonkers picks um, with amazing enchantments to give to each citizen this solstice I, I can't even pronounce that word um, Soon they will know me as the fine young businessman and rely on our family for many goods and services Glorf and Atok said that this uh, Superverse will be the best place to create o Oizine I just hope when uh, the underground dwellers come to the surface is not too advanced and they find comfort visiting the city and participating in our interactive events. Maybe the next time we'll visit Scarlandia. Scarlandia. So I think that's a reference to Scar's uh, world. Jelly promised we could stay uh, for a while after we have, if we ever found our way there. One time Jelly sent me a postcard um, that was a tiny bit risky. R res rescue. I have to admit, she sure can be a tempting pussy. Um, <laughs> Ahem, where was I? Ah, yes, landing on Ozyme without any building materials at all. We are, are going to have start from scratch. All right, guys, so it seems like they've been busy since they got here. Um, it's really cool. And then they mentioned Scar and then as well as Jelly, which is going to be cool because they're probably going to see it in the next update for 1.14 since it won Cat. Of the when they were trying to find the night cat, I'm um, actually one, so that's pretty cool. Glorf and Atok are pretty good at re reaching out and getting connected as long as people are fair minded, Commu community orientated, and enjoy good story. We should all fit in well. Yes, that's true, guys. Um, me, myself, I kind of like this, you know, it just brings a little bit more to the game and it's really interesting, um, especially because it's like so. Um, like there's just so much going on um, my biggest fear is that they have mined all the ports and the cost to get some will be uh, prohibitive we are going to need a lot of courts as Ozyme is a Byzantine build post Roman influence but pre Ottoman invasion mother fear is that we'll have neighbors who build something completely insane and disrupt the idyllic flow of an environment yeah my metamorphic mic well I need to get to work on my uh, cartography maps and close this journal for a bit lights of hard labor ahead yeah man like you guys got a lot done um, I'm a little bit late I'm four journals late but uh, at least I'm here you know um, and I'm glad I'm here I'm glad that they messaged me because I don't know if I would have ever found out about all this um, I hope to come into new lands uh, is everything we hope for oh, that's pretty cool guys all right so this is the first book that uh, we got so I kind of want to go through the other ones just to see if they mention the headhunt So I'll be right back. All right guys So I wasn't able to really find anything about the slime uh, headhunt But Trent basically told me the basics that there's a total of 22 slime heads And the way that we're gonna do it is that we got to go around and look for them And then once we find one we got this book right here where we're gonna write the courts of the location of the um, head and then turn them in into Wuzzy's uh, area or chest or something like that. So it's going to be cool because we're going to do a lot of exploring. Uh, so let's go ahead and do a little bit, guys. They got so much going on. That's crazy. 
um, it's really cool so these are the little heads that are in hermitcraft so I wonder if we have that here too um, so that's gonna be cool interesting kind of like going around and oh there's a, uh, I was gonna say there's a giant uh, hole right here but it's just like a regular ravine I guess um, yeah so they have a bunch of these that's really cool I need to kind of find the whoa no no <laughs> All right, so I need to be careful. I kind of clicked on the on the stair right there, and yeah, I got into uh, sitting mode. All right, so let me explore a little bit, and once I find a good location, I'll come back. All right, so I found Jesus War, Jesus, and I guess he's going along with the head hunt as well. So it seems like a lot of people are kind of involved in this, guys, which makes it really, really cool and interesting. So. Um, it's turning night, so I need to really be careful um, where I explore because I don't want nothing like exploding this. Oh, there's like a... Oh, that's really cool. I wonder if we're going to find one around here. All right, so I wonder if this is the ship that they came in. That'd be really cool to uh, to know. That, that'd be really cool if that was that ship. Um, uh, I was going to say there's nothing here, but it seems like we have a way down and... Oh, wait up. All right, so I guess we could come in here and just explore a little bit. I don't know if I'm cheating by going up here. Um, it seems like they got a bunch of heads. Um, that's cool. All right, let's come in here. I wonder if this is a door. Make sure that I close everything. I don't want nothing behind me. Um, and that does look like a lamb. That's a great idea right there. I'm probably going to get uh, some inspiration from uh, these buildings, guys. Um, there's nothing here. I wonder if they kind of like an unfinished thing. Oh, this is a spaceship. This is a spaceship. That's cool. All right, so it seems like there's a bed here. If I need to sleep, then now I know where to come. All right, so what is this? It says Trent, you okay? Ozyme quarters. <laughs> so I guess this is Trent's area. Oh, I don't want to die. Um, and okay, so there's like some storage, I guess. Uh, I don't want to click on that. Yeah, I guess it's just like some storage area and Explore a little bit more. Oh, that's cool with the fire and then they're using hoppers and then uh, lighting them up at the top And since we don't have a fire spread it, it stays there. So that's really cool So I guess it's just some a uh, building material. All right guys So we made it over here to the top where we overlook where we were at um, And yeah, so if you guys haven't seen it look at this how much is this? Like, how did they come up with this? This is crazy. There's no way I would have been able to make this even. Like, I had trouble with the small building. Imagine something like this that has, like, so many different, like, areas. Oh, man, this would have been really hard to make or, like, time-consuming. Um, all right, so let's go down here, guys. I wonder if there's um, a head down here. So it seems like there's one right there, but it's just your regular one and is this guy named no he's not so i guess he was in battle and then he stayed behind um he's ready to do a battle a challenger or something so i guess this is the exit which i don't think there's gonna be a head down here i might come exploring though just to make sure but i kind of want to go through each of the buildings first and then we'll go from there but like this really cool uh pen the bear fell asleep dreaming of jack man um, I was on earlier today during stream. <laughs> that's very funny. <laughs> no way, that's pretty funny. All right, guys. So it seems like we found the boat that they came in. Um, we have Woolies bed over there. We got Pangs, um, Lambi, but it doesn't seem to have a a head for Lambi. So this is Pangs, a penguin, and then we got a Talk and Glorf. Glorfandalus. Yeah, but before that, we were, you were, were on. All right, so that's really cool, guys. We actually found the boat, which makes me think that there might be a head around here. You know, they mentioned the boat in the in the first volume. Um, not the head, but the boat. So I imagine that this is where they would hide one of the heads. Um, I feel like this is just, it has to be, you know, like, like there's no way they wouldn't hide a head down here. But seems like i'm wrong why am i always so wrong this is a really cool boat i never seen a design like this so i can tell that this is an original sign um and it doesn't seem to be in one of the oh what was that uh okay let me try to get up here 
It doesn't seem to be in one of these right here. Uh, which I would expect as well. But let me go up here just in case. I feel like I'm on top of the world. But it doesn't seem to be any on this boat. Like I would expect them to put one on the boat. But it seems like there's not. What about in the side? Now that I think about it. I don't know if they could put them underwater. I don't think that's uh, it's possible. I think they just uh, pop up. Uh, oh, that's really cool. Look at these. Look at this. I never seen that before. Uh, what about down here? I'm um, actually done exploring a little bit, guys. I've gone around, actually, and I ended up at this boat. But I got attacked by uh, some phantoms, and I ended up here, which was pretty funny. And oh, whoa, what's this? Oh, that's really cool. It's made out of gold. I think this is like to ram other boats, and also to stop the boat from like hitting the this side right here i wonder if that's really a thing huh now that i'm looking at it like it makes sense really cool though and they, they have their their i forgot what these are their cells uh up and everything so they're not down because they you know they're part um all right guys so we're gonna go off next to the next building uh, which is this one right here we have floor over here and it seems like we're on glass there's just so much stuff going on here. Burnt stuff. What's burnt stuff? And it seems to be really laggy here. So I imagine this is like their smelter. Um, it seems to be really laggy. I wonder if they have a farm here. Uh, they have a lot of flowers. Oh, I, oh, that might be it. I think this is like their uh, sheep area, which, you know, when you have a lot of sheep, but... Uh, it tends to lag the area so i think that's why i'm lagging and just having a cheap computer or laptop doesn't really work um or help so we got a parrot up here it doesn't seem to be anything so let me do a little bit more exploring it seems to be it from this building so i imagine they have one like in each of the buildings and one's in here i don't know if i want to fall in there uh we got another of these little guys right here that's really cool the way he's looking has his leg like that um yeah but something that i noticed guys right here that i'm actually gonna steal from them is this idea right here of this little i'm not sure what it's called um but like it's really cool it's kind of like a garden thing and yeah i'm so gonna steal that from them i'm sorry guys um it looks really cool uh yeah so it seems like we got so much going on i don't think it's gonna be easy guys there's no way we're gonna be able to find everything in this episode so probably we're just gonna uh, see if we could find maybe a couple more and then maybe on the next episode uh we could like in each of the episodes we could come and explore here and see if we could find more heads so i need to ask them how long uh, we have in order to turn them in so i don't know if there's like a um a date you know that where it should be everything should be um done by or turned in by so i need to really like make this a thing a habit of uh, coming in here seems like there's a back door oh no, i don't want to fall uh or maybe do i or do i now i need to make sure that to check the whole building go around and everything um but i want to check that out because i went through here so i wonder what's on this side um there's a doggy down there I need to be careful. Uh, nope, it's the same thing. It's just like a different entrance to this. Um, so I'm probably just going to see if I can find one more head, guys. And yeah, I think that's going to be it for this episode. We actually, it's a pretty fun episode. We learned a lot in this episode. And what's that over there? That's a well. Are those wells? Oh, it seems like this is like a bird sanctuary. Um, I don't have a jump boost. I'm kind of used to it from my base. Um, are these wells? They are wells. No way. That's so cool. I wish I lived next to an ocean. Oh man, that's really cool. Guys, they really like been busy. They've been here and everywhere. Look at that. Oh, that's so awesome. All right. So it seems like this is their storage area where they landed. Um, it seems like they have some a bunch of chests right here so maybe we could find one in here um goes to pang's villa so i guess this is where they plan their stuff out 
Alright, I guess it's just the normal. Not normal, because look at this. That's really cool. I never thought of doing it this way. Yeah, it's starting to get a little bit laggy, depending on where I'm facing. So hopefully it doesn't really affect us too much. Uh, oh yeah, so I guess this is labeling this right here. Um, I need to make sure that I'm checking like every single area. Is there like a little window in here? Uh, I don't think there's anything in here, guys. So let me just keep going. Alright, so I think I'm just going to explore this building right here. And then that's going to be it for this episode. Oh, it's a bunch of parrots. That's really cool. Oh, yes, more down there. Or they have down there. Um, and that's really cool, guys. That kind of looks like a cockatoo. Uh, we actually have a lot of these. And they look just like that one. The same color and a little bit darker. Um, some don't have like a yellow head like that. They have like a dark... Uh, like gray and and a white hat so it's pretty cool um we have maybe like 12 or 13 of them which is really cool uh at least my mom does uh we ended up what's that it seems like there's an entrance um and i guess we could just keep exploring it oh there's one out here i thought it was a head for a second just because of the color um i don't know if we could actually come in here can we i think it's just for the birds I don't know if there's like a way in there. Is this is like a giant cage, like a bird cage. And this is what's holding it, the links, like the, the chain. Oh my God, man. They went in so much detail. I really want to see these guys. I wonder if they have a, oh, I fell in here. I didn't want to do that. Look at that. They're in like water and everything. I would have never thought of doing something like this. They have so many birds. Oh, that's really cool. And they have um, glass down here. What's in here? Oh, that's really cool. These guys go in so much detail. Like, how much time have they spent doing all this? And I don't think I could go down here. It doesn't seem like there's uh, anything. Alright, so let me see if I could go back up. Alright, so it doesn't seem like there's any heads here, guys. And maybe just if we get like a good gl uh, glance at the building from the side right here. I don't want to go into this one because I just want to go like building my building. Um, and it seems like there's nothing down there. What if we fly? Ooh, almost hit that. It's lagging a little bit. We can see the wells from up here. That's really cool. Yes! nice we found the head i'm sorry if i scream so loud nice guys we found a head all right so nice i think this is the, a good way to end the episode here um so yeah guys so don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more videos and i guess i'll just catch you guys on the next one team rocket plays out